give it five. Come on, here we go. Camp Blue Joe started about five years ago, I believe, uh, as part of the Department of Defense grant uh, through through a special grant, uh, beginning of all of our STEM research and stuff like that. Uh, it was one of the things we said, hey, we can take kids out for a full immersion and into STEM and stuff, give them a lot of in-depth science, technology, engineering stuff, math, and yet at nights, let's give them a little bit of camp experience, let the kids come out here and, and see what, what a camp is like. And so in the 24 hour period we have about 12 hours of it is is instruction and the other 12 not much sleep and the <laughs> and then the other part is uh, fun and games s'mores uh, capture the flag uh, night hikes uh, things like that Camp Blue Joe is just the best experience for having students parents teachers it's basically just science outside this classroom and it's hands-on experience and the kids get so excited about learning when they don't even realize they're learning I like to see the kids get a new experience. It's, it's fun to see you know the kids come out and have fun with one another and team up with one another and have a lot of fun uh, going outdoors. We had to find a way that we could get the maximum benefit out of, out of a group. And so basically my, my best area is 10 year olds, fifth graders. And so we decided we'd go with all the fifth graders in Lawton Public Schools, basically 12 sessions a year. A year. Uh, boys come one weekend, girls come another weekend. So we may have four schools one week, those same four come the next week, boys one time, girls the other. And that way we can get all 1,200 students through the camp uh, in one one year. The setup's really great because the kids get to make friends with children from different schools and what I kind of like about it is I teach eighth grade science so I'm actually meeting some of my future students before they actually come to MacArthur Middle School which is awesome and then when you walk around the community it's really funny because you'll be in Walmart or something and one of the kids will go <gasps> I know you, you're from Camp Blue Joe. And I'm like, yes, you know, so you get to meet kids from all over the district. When we rotate, it's a lot of fun because we get a new we get a new group of students, so we have uh, new things to work with, new personalities. So it's a lot of fun. We usually get about 95 students out here, so it's a big group. When they first get out there, they're excited. They don't know what's gonna happen. They come in and they set their bags down and we get them organized. We make sure that they come to the floor and Mr. D gives them their talk. You do not run in the storm. Especially tonight when you're showering, if the floor gets any kind of wet, it's very slippery. Walk everywhere. And then we have them, we go to their different beds and they put their, their bedding up and they come back and then we section them off. Now when we section them off, he counts them off one, two, three, and four, and they don't get an option. Three, one, four, three, two, four. They're looking at their friends from across the room and they're like, oh no, I'm not gonna see you till dinner. Two hours later, they're best friends with somebody they didn't know. And that's the neatest thing, is watching these kids build relationships with people that they would have never met. And that's partly because Mr. D is such a good uh, counselor, such a good director. I was approached to be a, a counselor for this camp and uh, when I saw what they were doing they, it was really a whole bunch of guys that were really excited about fishing. There's a nice pond on the camp and everybody wanted to do a lot of fishing and then we'd eat and then do some more fishing and then we eat and being uh, with Lawton Public Schools and Camp Goddard for 20 years and then other camps around like YMCA's and this is kind of the thing I've always done. I kind of said no we need to rewrite that. STEM really started coming into effect and so we we all sat down and kind of game planned what kind of lesson plans we wanted to bring to bring maybe some more engineering in and more mathematics not just the science part of it. The kids aren't real familiar with the metric system because we don't use it in the United States but it is used in science so we took um, the paper airplanes, had, they folded them, they had two, they're in groups, they have different types, um, and they would they would throw them and measure, and they would predict which one they thought would fly the furthest, and believe it or not, the gliders on a windy day actually outdid um, the other airplanes, so the kids were really kind of shocked that the glider in their group won. They do a bone activity, they learn about different, like anatomy of different animals and stuff like that, a little archaeology type thing where they, they cut the little cookies out. 
We talk about archaeology and paleontology, artifacts, the use of a dichotomous key to identify an unknown species or item, which is something that is on their fifth grade CRT, but it also brings them up so like when we do some of that stuff in middle school science, they've already been exposed to it. Mr. Bingham actually teaches the tree class and he teaches the kids about the leaves and how to determine whether and what kind of tree is which and um, he gives them a formula to determine how old a tree is. You actually see it, it's going to have more of a lasting memory than if you read it in a book. We have the compass where Mr. D takes them out and shows them different directions to go on. Then we have dinner and we play capture the flag which they think is the most amazing thing ever, so it's really funny to watch them. And then we have a nature hike, and then we make s'mores, and then they play volleyball, and then it's bedtime. The next morning we do more science activities. We have three more classes when they wake up. They come out here and they do another engineering project with like paper airplanes, they measure, there's a math project there. Mr. Bingham does a frog snot project. It's like a different little science project. And then they have, oh dear, up in the dorms. It's like another interactive game that Mr. D takes them on. It's, it's a whole lot of fun. We teach them responsibility. One of the things that we've always learned is, and I think this might be something with Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts too, you always leave a place better than you found it. So we've enjoyed it, so then we teach them responsibility to make sure we picked up after ourselves. From the time they get off the bus till it is lights out and they're asleep, from the moment they are up to their, till they're leaving on the bus, we are with those kids. Of course there's the ones that they come out here not expecting to have fun and then they just get blown away with how fun it is and I think they really enjoy it. It's uh, getting to interact with uh, students from, from all over Lawton and plus being able to get out with the kids in a more loose, unstructured situation and, and actually get to see some of the science that we study in the classroom but yet we don't get to see it in, in the real life. The most interesting thing is really seeing how the kids will just think that they're playing a game or something and just having fun, but they're actually really learning something. The major things I see is kind of that aha, oh yeah, that's what we talked about in there. Now, I, you know, and they actually get to see it. We have the best group of people out here. They genuinely love this job, and I think you have to, to give up your weekends every weekend to spend time with a bunch of fifth graders. We just become a little family and we we kind of learn each other's jobs and help each other so if one's out sick or something we just it continues it just flows very easily. Everybody gives a hundred and ten percent out here. Our teachers are wonderful. They give up their teaching and in their regular school. You know we have Cameron students out here giving up their homework and class time and parents. We have parents out here that are giving up time with their kids and I mean they are wonderful. For a lot of kids, it's it's kind of sad to say, but this is their first time out of Lawton. And uh, to come to a camp, uh, an outside world like this, and see nature in its whole, uh, is, is pretty astounding. A lot of our kids, and you think, well, we're in the middle of Oklahoma. These kids should, you know, have been exposed to all of this. But I can't tell you how many kids have actually never seen a cow close up, or an insect, or certain flowers, or trees, or made a s'more, roasted a marshmallow, played capture the flag. Um, it's just very interactive, and the adults play too. And a lot. A lot of our kids today are missing that interaction with adults, so it's just a great camping experience with a lot of science and technology and engineering and mathematics tied in, so it's, it's just awesome all around. One of the biggest things we do, we take a night hike during the, during the night and they're all blindfolded and we take them all around to pitfalls and stuff they get to experience, but we end up in a big old field, take off the blindfolds and now their night vision is there and we see tens of thousands of stars. And you, you can't believe the way that everybody goes ooh and on. Even afterwards, a lot of them say that was their favorite time of all camp, just seeing that. We do document all that. A lot of our schools use them for like their fifth grade promotion videos. Plus the kids love to see themselves. So Dee will post them all online on our internet so that the uh, teachers can pull them up in their classrooms and use them. Parents can get online, they can have the pictures, they can keep them and cherish the moments because it really is a fun time out here for all the kids. Watching them each year 
I feel like they're starting to appreciate it more each year, even though it's a different set of kids. I still have kids that I see in town from three years ago. They're like, hey, you're that girl from Camp Lujo. They hold on to this. Camp Lujo has uh, given these kids an experience that a lot of them have never had. Here we get them out in the country, experience nature in its fullest. It's a unique thing. It's peaceful and yet uh, organized. They never stop, but they're always doing something and it's fun. And to them, it's a really, I think it's one of their top experiences they have as a fifth grader. When you go back to school and you hear some of the kids talking, I said, I'm kind of surprised at what they remembered from it because I said at the time we were doing it, they really didn't give any reaction to it. I know I've had groups that I brought out from our school that there were quite a few of them that would bring their camping gear with them to go every weekend when I take off. And so I said, that kind of tells me that, you know, something caught their eye and they enjoy the getting out in the nature and participating in, in an activity like this. It's neat to see them interact with one another and just grow in just, in just a day with one another and just enjoy their time here. It's the greatest hands-on, outside of the classroom, learning experience there could possibly be. This has been a wonderful, wonderful camp. Fantastic opportunity for the kids. And to, to me, it's a soul enlightening experience. I get to be with kids again and have fun. Thanks to the Lujo Board of Directors for allowing us to use their camp all this time and uh, keeping it in such good shape for us to, to run out and let kids be able to experience it. So from Camp Lujo, we're saying thanks. See you later.